All right, before we start this video, I'm going to put a poll in the top right corner of the screen. Um, would you guys like to see some Power World content? I know the game's popping off recently. I've been enjoying it. If you guys want to see some content, be sure to vote in that poll. Leave a like, leave a comment below. I might post a community post also, but if you want to see it, make sure to vote in that poll. I'd be more than happy to upload some Power World content. The game's amazing. If you haven't played it, go play it. But we are here doing a Terry Rozier Miami Heat rebuild. If you do not know, I am a Miami Heat fan. And Terry Rozier is averaging 23 points a game and six assists. And we traded Kyle Lowry in a 2027 protected first round pick for Terry Rozier. I feel like that was a huge win for the Miami Heat. I did love Kyle Lowry. He has been playing like ass, but I just liked having him. He was a very solid player, but for $29 million, not good enough. He's been awful recently. He's like 0-14 from three in his last like five games or something. It's just not been working out. And the Heat are trying to win a championship, all right? And Kyle Lowry just isn't going to do that. So first things first, we're going to move these positions around to what they're going to be. Uh, so they have Jay Rich officially listed as a point guard. He has been running our backup point. Um, but we're going to move Rogier, who goes down to our starting point guard i believe he's going to be starting in real life and he also is going to be wearing the number two so let's get that right three years on con under contract so that's what we're going to do we're going to try and make this team a championship team in three years surrounding rogier hero bam and jimmy butler but this team's really solid i'm surprised duncan hasn't gotten a bigger upgrade he's been playing amazing this season um Jaime Hawkins jr is an 81 overall he will be our sixth man he has been absolutely fantastic this season Caleb Martin went down I think too he hasn't been playing much Jover's got an upgrade he's been really solid this season so I'm gonna be happy and um can't wait to see what he does Kevin Love 78 he's having a fantastic season also so we're gonna get this lineup we're gonna simulate the season as is I'm not gonna make any other trades I want to see what this team does um they want to start Caleb I'm thinking of starting Jovic because he's been starting in real life I'm not sure what 2K has his tendencies at. Um, probably not great. So maybe we play him off the bench. Maybe we start him. I don't know. Obviously, Caleb, he's only 6'5. It really hurts. He's a backup power. I think I'm going to start Jovic. All right, we're going to run this rotation. We're going to Rogier 28 minutes, Hero 32, Butler 32. Jovic, we're going to give 23 when I can give him a bunch. Uh, Bam's getting 33, Hame 27. And that is about it. Uh, I'm going to go mess with some tendencies real quick. Because, uh, look, they have Jimmy Butler's at a 75. I know he doesn't shoot much. We'll get it up to... I want Jimmy to be at an 80. Bam. I mean, at 90. Bam, 85 is nice. Hero, his tendency, he, he shoots the ball, let's be honest. Uh, I see, like, Hame. A 60 shot tendency in it. We're going to up that to 75. Duncan Robinson, definitely going to up his to um, 65. Caleb Martin, going to up his to 65. And that seems about good. Let's start simulating here and see how this team does. I have injuries off. Um, so, as you can see, Drew Smith is going to be back. Um, but so far, we started off with two wins. We end up losing to the Knicks, which sucks. Leave rotation as is. No injuries are on. Uh, we beat the Phoenix Suns. We beat the Sacramento Kings. Right now, this seems very, very weird. What? Four and two so far. Well, four and three since the trade. Can we beat the Magic and the Spurs? We should be able to. The Orlando, we lose to the Magic, but we do destroy the Spurs. We're at the trade deadline. Would you like to stop simulating? No. 29 and 23. I'll see you all at the end of the season. Final week of the season, and we are going to be 49 and 33. Good enough for the sixth seed. 49 wins is a sixth seed in the East. Jokic wins MVP. Wemby's Rookie of the Year. Westbrook, Sixth Man of the Year. That's the first time I've seen that happen. Wemby's also DPOI. Jalen Johnson, Most Improved. Shea, Clutch Player. And Joe Mazzula and Jacob Park coach and executive of the year all nba first team second team and third team is as shown all defensive teams we have no one on anything besides Jaime Jaquez on the all rookie team and i would averaging 14 points a game we're the 6c we're going up against the philadelphia 76ers in round one uh tyrese maxi melton uh we match up fairly decent with this team it's just that maxi matchup that's gonna hurt us because he's up to an 87 we could have Jimmy guard him because they're running Kelly Oubre and DeAnthony Melton. So, we'll see. We'll, we'll definitely see. We'll see the final season stats here for this Miami Heat team. 
Uh, we had four players averaging 18 plus. Hero averaged 21. Butler averaged 20. Rogier averaged 19. And Bam also averaged 19, 11, 4, a steal, and a block. Ame 14, Duncan um, 12. Not a bad season at all from the boys. Jovic, what you do as a starter? Let's see. As a starter or since the all-star break, about exactly the same. Probably worse efficiency. So, I don't know if we keep him in the starting lineup. We lose by two in game one. That was the Butler show. We go down 2-0. Yeah, this is where... Nope, I do not want to play the game. This is where we make changes. So, Embiid at 30. Maxi at 28. Oubre, yeah. My question is, do we run Butler at the four? Who will be guarding Harris. And we bring in maybe Hakez. To run the three we're going to shorten this rotation a bit kevin loves actually playing he i don't know why he says he's on fire he's clearly not uh jay rich is on fire so you know what? we're going to give some of those minutes to jay rich and then we need our we need our top players playing like it so 40 for jimmy i'm going to lower some of these minutes like jay rich down 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 40 for jimmy 40 40 and we have one more to hawk is we need this win and we go down 3-0. That sucks. Uh, Kelly Oubre, 29 points, maxi 26. It wasn't even Embiid. It wasn't even Embiid. So my last line of defense, I guess, is going to be putting Jimmy on maxi. He's 93. Yeah. We're going to have to put Jimmy on maxi. It's probably, we're probably going to get swept. Yeah. The 2K loves the Sixers too much. Jimmy had 42. Maxi had 39 anyways. I mean, Kelly Oubre averaging 26 points a game in a playoff series is insane to me. Um, but the Sixers, I mean, uh, the 2K does love the Sixers. I mean, Oubre averaged more points than Joel Embiid. A, not much you can do there. So, and then they end up losing to the Cavaliers. And the Cavaliers end up winning it all. Yep, that sounds about like 2K. Play retirement to LeBron. Get your ass back here, UD. You're already retired. Shout out to 2K for not knowing anything. Uh, everyone else, you can go off into your sunset. NBA draft, we clearly have no picks. Um, but this is where I want to move Duncan Robinson's contract. We're going to move Duncan's contract. My question is, we're obviously going to keep Rogier. This is a video about him. Do we want to move on from Tyler Hero? Is my question. Right now, we'll just put Duncan Robinson and maybe Highsmith and the 21st. Oh, we don't have. To, okay, we can't trade it. And second round pick, see if we can get anything. Oh, uh, damn, Jade McDaniel's got a bag. We can get Bojan in a first. We can probably end up flipping Bojan. Bojan in a first ain't bad. We can end up using that first in another trait. Or two first round picks from the Knicks. Those two first round picks from the Knicks might be the win. Yeah, without a doubt. We're taking those two first round picks from the Knicks. And we can end up probably flipping these picks into a much better player i um also this is not realistic at all just an fyi i'm gonna field offers for tyler hero i don't want to trade him but with that 29 mil we could use him and some picks and maybe get a solid player right now desmond baines there but same overall he's making more money jonte murray um lawyer marketing not seeing much sangoon and a first Sengun can't shoot. That's the only problem. Sengun next to the band would be insane. We can get the fourth overall pick. I'm not seeing much here, but that's something to think of. I do want to trade this 21st overall pick, though. So we're going to trade 21st and maybe Orlando Robinson, because that's really the only guy we have. We can get a pick from the Bulls and get two first-round picks from the Thunder. We're actually going to take these picks from the Brooklyn Nets. And then that's it. Obviously, we're not going to have any rookie signings. Uh, how was this draft? A 70, it was pretty ass. Not going to lie. All right. Team player options. Kevin Love declined. Everyone declined. We're going to accept Jovic. Uh, Drew Smith, you can go away. I'm not really fond of you anyways. Uh, qualifying offers. Cole Swider, RJ Hampton. Nope. You guys can all walk. And this is where we go and look. I mean, LeBron James would be sick. But who out here was possibly selling or rebuilding like Laurie marketing could be decent next to bam uh i don't think we can bro imagine ad and bam next to each other i don't think that we're going to be able to make this happen at all uh mainly also money wise yeah we be um bringing in six more allowed 
which even Jovic, yeah, it's not possible. This could be something. We all know how good Darius Garland is in 2K, and we can move Rougier back to shooting guard straight up? Maybe? No, okay. Not straight up. I kind of figured. Pistons pick. Nope. Knicks pick. All right, that's one first round pick. Uh, where's Jovic? We'll throw Jovic in this deal. That's all it took to get Darius Garland. That's all it took. It took Tyler Hero, a first, and Jovic for Darius Garland. That's all it took. And now we can move Rogier back over to the shooting guard, uh, where he's probably more natural. Very two six foot one players in the backcourt. Not ideal, but, 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 very, very promising. Very, very promising. Yes, sure. We only have five players under contract and negative cap room. But there's a. Oh, that's available. I thought that we could afford him. Oh, we can bring Caleb Martin back. Yeah, the free agency market's not great. We're going to have to be bringing in a lot of players and trading them. So I'm going to go do that. All right, we signed a bunch of players. We're going to try and move them on. I would like to keep Caleb Martin. He's really solid. We brought back Kevin Love. We definitely are going to end up moving on from him um, because he's just too old. Bobby Portis and Bo Champ. Yeah, I'll do this trade because I can throw them in a bigger offer to get maybe a power forward. So we'll definitely do that trade. Um, let's package these guys together. Their contracts. And see if we can... Like, there's a first round pick from the Grizzlies. There's Trey Lyles in a first. Alright, we have some definite options here. Grady Dick in a first. I'll do... Oh, ooh, his value just said three stars, buddy. What happened? Couldn't do this Zaire Williams and the first. Because uh, that pick's a little bit more valuable. Uh, try and build up that contract. So now we got Zaire Williams' contract. We can trade. We can go back and get Kevin Love. Corey Kispert in a first. Kevon Looney's 8 mil. Matisse Thibel, 11 mil. I prefer a pick in that trade, though. I ain't gonna lie. Malachi Bronham in a first. Unprotected. It's pretty enticing because I can move his position. And I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna take that Malachi Bronham deal. And that first round pick. And I'm going to switch his position over to a small forward. Oh, he's a shoot. Yeah, there we go. Now he's a 78 overall. And now we can try and flip him. Oh, and his $3 million in Kenrich Williams. And see. Can we get another pick? We can get Bochamp and Salty Aldama. Uh, we can get Keegan Murray. That's it? That's all it takes to get Keegan Murray. Without even trading any picks. Ooh, I like that. I like that Spurs pick. I'm taking that Keegan Murray trade. He can be our starting power forward 100%. I ain't going to give up no picks. He's on his rookie deal. Yeah, without a doubt, Keegan Murray, welcome to the team. Now, maybe do we look for a more defensive shooting guard next to Garland and have Rozier just come off the bench? Possibly. We got Bobby Portis and Caleb Martin's contracts now. I know a defensive-minded shooting guard making around 20 mil. Jonathan Murray's making 25. Also, Hero, he's making 29. Derek White, he's on a one-year deal. Uh, Mikel. Mikel Bridges would be perfect. I didn't know he's listed as a shooting guard. Mikel Bridges would be perfect, and I think we might be able to get this deal done. Bobby Portis, it's money, right? Yeah, we'd acquire seven mil. That's where Caleb Martin comes in. Is that enough? No, obviously not. Uh, we'll throw in that Pistons pick. That Pistons pick alone could do it, and it is. We bring in Mikel Bridges to the team. So our starting lineup now is Darius Garland, Mikel Bridges, Jimmy Butler, Keegan Murray, and bam. And off the bench, we got Rozier and Hotkeys. We just need to find a backup point guard, power forward, and center. And we're chilling. All right, we're going to trade for Andrew Nemhard to be our backup point guard. And then we're gonna, we need a backup power forward and a backup center. I doubt we can get... Dude, can we get J-Dub? We have the picks. To run him at backup... We have the picks. We don't have the players, obviously. He's only three stars. This pick might get it. Hold on, hold on. That pick's actually very valuable. Hold on. Let's trade this Grizzlies pick. All right? If we need to give up that Hornets pick, I will give it up. Uh, without a doubt. To have J-Dub come off our bench. Um, Nuggets pick... We might have to use four first-round picks for J-Dub. And it's done. J-Dub's our backup power forward. And we find a backup center. We're set. 
Or there's Kevon Looney right there to play our backup center role, and we get a first round pick out of it. That seems like it's the deal. Yep, without a doubt, that's the deal. Kevon Looney in a first round pick. There we go. Golden. Our rotation is now Garland, Nemhard, Bridges, Rogier, Butler, Hawkes, Keegan Murray, J Dub, and Bam and Looney. This is a championship team, without a doubt. Player progression, Jimmy goes down one. I had a bio goes down one for some reason. Mikel goes down one. What the hell is going on? These guys should be hitting their prime. Keegan goes up three. Other than that, it's looking real damn good. Oh, yeah, I'm liking this team. There is no way we don't win a championship. Here is the rotation they want to run. Garland, Mikel, Jimmy Butler, Keegan Murray, and Bam out of bio. J-Dub as our sixth man. Jame Jaquez, Terry Rogier, and Kevon Looney, and Nemhard. We could even run Rogier at backup he could play our backup one if we wanted to not run them hard uh, but we're going to keep it a 10-man rotation for now I really really like this team I think this team can definitely make some damn noise um this season let me just delete this game plan from the Sixers and uh obviously mess with some tendencies make sure everything's right like Keegan Murray up yours to about 70 Mikel Bridges 80 other than that everyone looks about right so let's Let's simulate first game of the season against the Hornets. It is a 24-point victory. Jimmy Butler has 27. Garland, 21. J-Dub off the bench with 19. Uh, Cam Newton? Conrad Newton. Game against the Bulls. We end up winning by four. Another Jimmy Butler game. Uh, Grizzlies. That's a good team. Uh, we beat the Raptors. We're starting out the season four. No, we beat the Grizzlies. Garland at 25 and 11. Next matchup against the Cavs, the reigning champions. And we end up losing by seven. We just... They got Hero. He only had 16. Garland, I expected more from you. All right. I'm we'll simulate to the end of the season. Nearing the end of the season. Can we end it off on a win against the Pacers? We lose to the Pacers. And we lose the two seed because of that. Bro, every single time we had the two seed, we ended up losing like three or four in a row. And that loss to the Pacers, who were the team we were fighting with for the two seed, they beat us and they take it. That sucks, dude. Oh, my God. Here are all your awards. We get no one on no teams. That's so annoying. We were a game back behind them. The Cavaliers just ran away with the conference. That's so goddamn annoying, dude. Whatever. Uh, player stats. I hate these menus. Player stats are looking about 19 points, 8 assists for Garland, 16 for Butler, 14 for J-Dub. Bam only had 13 points a game. Ame Hawk is at 13. He shot very, very inefficient. Mikel had a pretty bad season, 13 points a game. Uh, Keegan Murray shot 40% from three. That's all I asked for you. Rajir, 12 points off the bench, and Emhard only had five. So going into the playoffs, um, I'm sorry, Emhard, but you're losing your minutes. Kevon Looney, you're playing pretty damn good, so I'll let you keep your minutes. Hawkins is going to drop down a little bit, and we're going to increase Bam's minutes to 34, 34. Uh, actually, we'll put Jimmy Butler's 32. I want Mikel 30 and we'll put Butler at 33 all right Raptors in round one their team is looking about the same they added Obi Toppin to the team I guess in free agency RJ Barrett quickly team looks about the same uh let's simulate we take game one by four points we take game two by 25 points we lose game three by a point it, we we cannot be tied 2-2 with this team Obi Toppin are we serious we cannot be tied 2-2 two two with this team right now. There is just no reason for it. Kevon Looney, I'm sorry, buddy. You're, you're losing your minutes. You're, you're, you're losing your minutes. J-Dub, you're keeping yours. Keegan Murray, I need your ass to lock the hell in. I need you to lock the hell in because there is no reason you should be good. Bam, you too. How are you shooting that low of a percentage? There's no excuse for it. There is no excuse for it. Jimmy... You should be also be taken over. Pivotal game five. And we win. We win by 19 points. Butler, 24. J-Dub, 23. Rogier 21 off the bench. Our bench crew did it. Let's end them. Take them out. And we do. We win in six. Uh, Keegan Murray at 33. You'll love to see it. And we're going to be taking on the Indiana Pacers. Tyrese Halliburton. Oh, boy. We're better than this team. It's simple as that. Oh, my God. He's averaging 21 and 12. Oh, my God. Miles Turner. We're better than this team, though. We're, we're better than this team, 100%. I believe it. We are better than this team. They took game one. Tyrese Halbert. 
yeah, all right. Uh, coaching game plans. Mikel's guarding Halliburton. Game plans. Uh, Halliburton. Where is? I'd rather have Jimmy guard him probably, but Kendrick. Uh, Darius Garland's had 89. How is Darius Garland a better defender than Mikel 2K? Are we serious? Whatever. Um, game two. Mikel, uh, you, you're kidding me. He had 30 again. He had 30 again. 30 again. All right. We're, we're going to end up losing the series, aren't we, 2K? Aren't we, 2K? You're losing your minutes completely. Rogeri down to 14. Sorry, J-Dub. We need our best players playing. We need our best players playing at this moment. This is a pivotal game. We end up winning by 14. Berlin had 25. Halliburton still cooked us. Still cooked us. Very important game four. We go down 3-1. We're getting, we're getting completely annihilated this series. And it's all Tyrese Halliburton. It's all Tyrese Halliburton that's doing it to us. All right. I'm taking... I'm taking Mikel off of him then. Mikel clearly can't guard him, apparently. Uh, apparently, Darius Garland's a much better defender. But I'm putting Jimmy Butler on him. Uh, on ball pressure. He's a good shooter. I'm just going to leave everything on automatic. I'm going to leave everything on automatic. And then he was guarding Matherin. So I'm probably going to have Mikel guard Matherin then. We'll put Mikel on Matherin. And then that will leave Buddy Heald for Mr. 89 overall on defense, apparently. Uh, Darius Garland. So we'll do that. And Pry, down 3 1. Let's see. Down 3 1. Can we slow down Tyrese Halliburton? It's not looking like it. Heading into the fourth, we're getting. Yep, we're getting, we're getting shit on. Yep, there it is. One point. Oh, it's a tie game. We're in overtime and we end up losing. It, it was Miles Turner and. Wow. I don't understand how we lose in five games to the Pacers. I really don't. I don't know how this team right here. Bam, how do you average 14 points? I don't know how this team right here loses. I really, really don't. And the Pacers end up making the championship, and they end up winning it all. All right, we got one more year. And we have the fourth overall pick via Charlotte. Yeah, we use, we're using that. We are using that pick in a trade. Oh, my God. That was, was that easy? We just traded Mikel Bridges in the fourth pick for LaMelo Ball. It was that easy? It was that damn easy. All right. All right, Garland and LaMelo Ball now. Yep. All right. Uh, Keegan Murray... He's a free agent. We got still got the tenth overall pick, but nothing to trade it with. Regiers, I know this video is about him, but I want to win a championship now. Let's go Regier in that tenth overall pick. He's got one year left. I doubt we even get anything for him. We can probably just bring everyone back. Yeah, we can't really even get anything for him, so we're not gonna trade him. Um, I'm going to trade this pick though. I have no reason to. I have no reason to keep this pick. We're just going to trade this pick for two for a Sean pick. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, team player options should be able to accept, accept, accept. Huge. All right. We're going to bring back most of our team. We added LaMelo Ball. So that should be pretty damn big. Pretty damn massive. So we're going to have Garland, LaMelo. Oh, crap. Jimmy Butler's a free agent. We got to bring back Jimmy. All right. All right, Jimmy. Whatever you want, bud. I'll give you give you the house. Does anyone offer you anything? Yep, you got 13 offers. And Orlando's trying. Nope, you ain't going. You ain't going up there. You ain't going to Orlando. Oh no, you ain't going to Orlando. Come back. Jimmy Butler, welcome back to the team. We're getting you a championship here in Miami. Alright, now it's gonna be Garland, Lamelo, Butler, Keegan, and Bam. Yeah, we just need to grab another backup center and we're chilling. Alright, we just brought back Kevon Looney. This is the rotation. Keep it as is, and we're going to stimulate the season, and we, 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 there's no way this team doesn't win a championship. There is no way this team, we beat the Pacers by 21, I love to see it. Going towards the end of the season, and this team somehow is worse than last year's. How? I don't know. We're still the third seed, the Pacers still get the second seed, and the Cavs get the first seed. I, I don't understand how this team is worse. I, I really don't. So you know what, I already know we're going to end up losing. I already know we're going to end up losing to this team somehow. That doesn't even have Cade Cunningham anymore. We're going to end up somehow losing. We lose game one. Figures. Figures. Because 2K is such a garbage game. Like, how you're telling me that this team isn't good enough. Tell me that this team isn't good enough. Absurd. How are we down 3-2? This is why I don't do rebuilds. 
I were, I'm running a six-man rotation now. How are we down 3-2 and we lose in six? We lose in six. This is why I don't do rebuilds. This is why. Because this game is garbage. This game is garbage. You're telling me a team of LaMelo, Jimmy, Garland, Bam, Keegan. You're telling me this team gets bounced in the first round by the Pistons. That doesn't even have Kate Cunningham 2K. That's what you're telling me. This team could not be more perfect. Ball handler that can shoot lights out. Ball handler um, that can play defense, pass the ball. Jimmy Butler, veteran, amazing in the playoffs. Hameake is another young player. Keegan Murray can stretch the floor. For Bam Adebayo was amazing in defense, and the team isn't good enough. This is why I just, this game is disgusts me.